It has been there since 1988. We begin tonight with the huge facelift that's being given to the water garden. The iconic landmark was damaged and knocked out of commission after Hurricane Harvey tore through the coastal bend. Our Michael Gibson found out whether the plan to fix it is on the schedule and on budget. The water garden repair project is now at the 30% completion mark and still on track to open in April of next year. Fulton Construction is doing the design build on this $8 million project and City Councilman Dan Suckley is happy about the progress they've made so far. Excited to get uh, beyond it, get it open, get it functioning, um, you know, possibly even a, a revenue generating um, uh, asset to the city. We took a tour of the work site and it appears a lot of headway has been made here. Huge water pipes are now in place after the old broken down system was removed. We've taken some of the past sins and we're correcting them with this current design and construction. The vault, which used to house the electrical room and pumps, flooded out during Hurricane Harvey, but now it's been overhauled. It's going to be waterproofed and only the water pump system will basically be installed here. The electric room and the chemical storage area will now be above ground. One of the major elements that was impacting us previously, like you mentioned, was water infiltrating the vault and it was uh, shorting the electrical equipment and causing it to fail. So by doing it the way we're doing it now, we've uh, almost eliminated that risk. While most of the improvements won't be noticeable to the public, one new feature will be. The water garden is also going to have a programmable LED lighting system, which should make the iconic landmark a real tourist draw at night. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Very interesting addition there, Michael. Thank